Hi there, I'm Jeannie Street. It's my life mission to connect you to your soul's truth and to the miracles that will heal all the broken pieces from within you, causing you to feel alone in your life. We live in a world that has taught us it's okay to live as if we're separate beings from God. The separation stories continue and they tell us that you are disconnected from your departed loved ones and angels as if life was meant to live lonely, hard, and even joyless at times. And while the fact is that we all have soul lessons and life experiences to navigate through, the idea that you're supposed to do it all alone, that's an untruth. I know because my angels guided me out of my own isolated, painful life and into an abundant one. No more feeling unsupported, lonely, or sad. I've got you. It's why you are here and why God put me on this earth to remind you that you are not alone, that your soul is infinite and you are meant to thrive, not just survive. I invite you into my world of conversation, messages from heaven, guidance from your angels, and inspirational readings and moments that will fill your heart and soul with God's grace and love. Get ready for pure miracle moments to flow into your life. Welcome to Angels Don't Lie. It is Angels Don't Lie Tuesday. So you can come over and join me if you are in one of my trainings and my angels don't my angel membership. You have the link to join me behind the scenes, which I always love. People are calling in. Are you going to be the brave one tonight? Are you going to call in? We're going to be talking about spiritual awakening, how it's no joke, what that looks like for each of us. It's no joke. It's um, really something that we should take seriously. But a lot of people have been going through experiencing high energy and changes and shifts in their in their body. So they're they're noticing like, I don't feel right. Things feel really different. And we're going to talk a little bit about how this is the rise of the healer. This is the age of Aquarius. We know this, we've we've heard the fifth dimension, whatever you guys, maybe you've heard some of this talk all around, but um, my angels have informed me like 2021 is really, really the pathway for healers to start to really use, use their gifts. You may have already been experiencing some turmoil about your energy centers opening and wondering like, why do I see or feel, or why am I so sensitive to energy? Or why am I so depleted? Why am I feeling anxious all the time? Why is my gut in a disarray? Well, spiritual awakening really affects the whole body, especially the gut and the brain. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. So let me give a shout out to a few people on Facebook. And again, welcome to Angels Don't Lie. I'm so glad you guys are here. Hi, Carly. How are you, love? Peter's here. Nancy's here. Cheryl and Michael. I love you, Michael. Carol, how are you? She's on the train heading from work. We'll talk quiet, Carol. Nice to see you. Brittany. um, I know it does keep you on your toes, doesn't it? Like my dyslexia. You're welcome. Eileen. Hi, Eileen. Jen, how are you? Thank you guys for loving me so much and understanding that, you know, really is an issue. Uh, being dyslexic and, and having a business and being hearing, hearing impaired, it does. It affects everything that you do and you don't realize it. Maybe you guys are friends with me on Instagram. I recently shared on my, um, in my story, a picture of me using my earwax candle. And this, talk about sensitivity, talk about like awakening, like you can have ringing in your ears. I know a lot of clients who went through an awakening when spirit started speaking to them and they got the ringing in the ears, told they had Meniere's disease and um, the constant tenderness, like it's, it's repetitive. And that is really how spirits begin speaking. I've had that my whole life, it's really kind of annoying, but um, I've learned to live with it. And I've learned to lean into love and not focus on the negative aspect of it, rather the positive side of it. So anywho, the number, the number, the number, the number to call in tonight is 231-444-4480. Loveys, anybody want to post that in the comment section? Jen, you get ringing your ears too. Yes, right. Hi, Eileen. So Susan um, has had a spiritual awakening. She's gone through 
tons of stuff um, after her husband passed away and it nudged her from heaven like the angels her husband Andy kept coming through it's and amazing. like yeah he kept like pushing <laughs> you and pushing you and he still does and he still takes over your reading yes <laughs> he's very pushy <laughs> yes it's like come on let's let's move forward get her done darling he used to say <laughs> get her done. i love that that's hilarious so we're going to talk a little bit about like what are things that you can do to really lean into this awakening that you could be having if you would love to talk about this i would love to have a conversation with you judy that's been happening to you oh my god girl i know it right Give me a call. Somebody call me and let's talk about this. Hi, Krista. How are you? Shelby, how are you? Mm, never knew what it was, right? Call me. Let's have a conversation. It's so amazing that we can do this for each other and your story will inspire someone else. Trust me. Martha, I have tinnitus and I try to block it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're having a hot topic tonight, aren't we? We're having a really good to topic with this, um, the ear ringing the ear ringing. Yeah, it started in my childhood with the, the ringing in the ears. And, you know, I didn't know any different. I thought it was just something that was meant to be there. I hear scratchy, like, um, like paper, <laughs> like static. It gets worse. The things that, that you're going to notice if you guys have this, and you'll notice it with your other gifts being off too. the ringing in the ears will get worse and any of your senses that are open and really heightened your sense of seeing uh, i've had people come to me that they're seeing lights all the time they're seeing orbs in front of them they're seeing um, it's in it's interfering with their sleep they're waking up to that thank you jen love you um, they're feeling it on their body they're feeling tingly and they're feeling uh, electricity and they're feeling just uncomfortable in the gut, the gut, when you have your knowing and the guts in a disarray, you're not digesting. Your stomach is so acidic. You can uh, regurgitate your food. You're having digestion issues. Um, lots of people with irritable bowel, lots of people that end up having Crohn's or something even more serious when they aren't paying attention to that. Their knowing has been tapping on them. Their intuition has been tapping on them to pay attention. Um, sense of smell, sense of taste can really get disturbed, if, especially when you are really closed down and you're not eating a high vibrational diet. So let's talk about these things, really important for your well-being. And if you want to heal, heal, let's talk about healing, that's really interesting, what you have going on with the spiritual awakening. So healing doesn't mean that it's necessarily going to go away. It means that you're going to feel better. It means that possibly you can put it into a state of stillness. And yeah, so we'll talk a little bit more. Hold on. We have a call and let's take this caller. Hi, this is Jeannie. Who am I speaking with? Eddie. Eddie? Hi, yeah. Eddie. How can I help you tonight? Uh, I was hoping I'd connect with my father. Sure. What's your father's first name, Eddie? Edward. Namesake. I get a little trouble breathing. Um, was your dad a, a smoker? Because I'm getting like, well, I don't know if he was a smoker, but I'm getting like all this sense of um, like fog around him. So, and I've not had that before. So let me just clear this up really quick with him. With the fog. Hold on. Because I feel like he's stepping forward out of a fog. Does that make sense for you? Um, it could be like a brain fog where he wasn't really all in his body. Is this making sense okay. for you? Yeah. Um, more in the lines, and it's funny because I've never had someone come through like this who had like a form of dementia, but that's kind of what he's showing me. Um, like this film in front of him, like nothing was clear. Okay. Is your dad recently crossed over? Because he feels he feels newer for some reason on the other side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's what it is. Um, he's saying heart complications? Possibly, yeah. Um, it's what he's speaking of. So that might answer a question that so there's something coming up because it's what he's saying first, um, along okay. with that brain fog and that kind of confusion and clear vision that I yeah. don't feel like he had. Um, 
I'm also like getting this really big heightened feeling from him. And I don't know if this is anxiousness, if it's for you or if it is around him, but he's just showing it's like running through me like, like crazy right now. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Is this, is this you? Are you feeling really anxious tonight? Uh, a little. Like in general, right? To your, to yeah. your dad's like, yeah, really in general. Um, so his personality is coming through a little bit. He's got like this dry sense. Uh, this isn't something he would have believed in in life. So he's just letting that be known. So you understand that it's him. Um, and he yeah. has like a little raspiness to him as well. But he pats you on the back. His hand is on your back. He's like, please tell him my hand is on his back. That always shows as a form of support, like he's supporting you. I don't necessarily feel like you always had that support from him and it's effortless. It's like free for you right now. He's like, I'm going to be here and I'm going to support you. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. He says there are words that you need to hear the words, the words, the words, or you've been waiting for. So I'm understanding mm -hmm. thing. No. Do you feel like this will comfort you and give you a little peace knowing that he's safe? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like he was, it was, you know, kind of complicated, but I do feel like he went really quickly. He wants me to let you know. Yeah. And I do feel like, I don't know if anybody was with him because I feel like it was dark. <clears throat> yeah, he, he had a couple people with him, but. So what's the dark? I'm not positive what that means, but it was dark. So it, maybe it was dark outside. It's just dark. Yeah, it was nighttime. Okay. So it's just being specific for you. Yep. I hope this brings you some peace, Eddie. I, it does. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Have a great night. You too. Okay. Sorry for your loss. Thank you. Bye-bye. It does. Thank you. Hi. Hi, this is Jeannie. Who am I speaking with? You speak with Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn. How are you? Good. Where are you calling Hi. from, lovey? Hi, who am I speaking with? Uh, Massachusetts. Well, how yeah. can I help you tonight? Well, I'd like to know if um, my sister Nancy um, has, is around. <laughs> well, she has a really she, big uh, personality, so that's, do you understand? Yeah, the big she, um, yeah, and she passed about a year ago. Okay. So uh, her name is Nancy. I don't know if I said that. Yeah, she steps forward right away, so I get the big personality. And it's interesting because... Um, Eddie's father, who just came through, Edward, had a little bit of a more quiet, reserved um, personality. And it's, I don't know if you guys can tell when I'm reading, like when they come through and they have like a big personality or something different, how they show up. But um, she makes me feel like really vibrant, um, really talky, lots of drama, lots of like excited, excitedness about different things in life. Um, and I also feel like, you know, her timing for leaving was even though it was divine, she's saying, even though it didn't seem it, it was really divine. Okay, good. And I get, I get a lot yeah. of stuff around her breast, so I don't know if she had some breast issues. Um, usually that comes through in the heart center, it could be lungs, but I feel like it's more around breast for her. She um, had cancer and she was unexpected. It was kind of fast. Okay. She had always been in pain her whole life and then um, she didn't know it until she, um, Cell and they found out she had a pathological cancer and, and it went fast and yeah. yeah so that's how she shows up but you know I don't feel like she missed out on being here this year is what she's saying um this year has been you know 20 2020 wouldn't have been a good year for her uh health wise being stuck at home right? just would not have been so it was a good time for her to to be on the other side and be there for you and support everyone on the other side So does that make sense? It's a little selflessness is what she's showing in a, in a sense. Yes. Yeah. And we had a, when, yes, and I, we, we talked just before she died. She's talking about yeah. the ashes, the ashes. Okay. Do you have somebody's ashes? Well, no, no, her daughter has them. Yeah. Okay. Do you have your, is it your parents too? I just feel like the ashes have moved. I think we lost you. Um, well, no, I have my okay. son's ashes. 
Oh, uh, okay. That's what she, she must be talking about. Very, yeah. That yeah. must be what she's talking about. Was he young? Because I'm getting like this, um, I'm getting a, definitely like um, a quick, a quick exit and an immature type of energy around him. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. And I also get responsibility and my heart hurts. So um, I do, my heart hurts a lot. It just like my chest hurts a lot. So I feel like he has a hand in his leaving and I don't know exactly what that looks like, but he claims that for you. Yeah. He, yeah, um, uh, he did. Cause he, yeah. Did, it, was was it, a, it was an accident, but was it was it, a oh, drug overdose. That's what I'm getting. Cause, yeah. my, heart, cause my heart hurts yeah. and I just feel like I feel like one minute he was here and the next, it was like split second, he said, and it wasn't even like, it wasn't a decision or anything. It's just, he gave up caring about anything other than not feeling. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You have like a lot of people on the other side. I'd love to do a, a reading for you. I mean, this is, this is a quickie, but yeah. um, they're all. Yeah. I've, that's, that's, yeah. And that's what I feel like. They're all want to say something. So I'll have to contact you later <laughs> yes yes i hope this brings you peace knowing that they're with you and um i love that they brought up the ashes how how important that is for yes. you as well yes yes very good thank you so much you're most welcome thanks for calling in love. Yeah, we'll be okay bye-bye bye, -bye. Right, bye, -bye. this is shelby hi shelby how are you love i'm doing good i think this is amazing because i didn't see anybody in the queue this is unbelievable <laughs> like this obviously the angels are like yes you're talking so <laughs> so what's going on lovey um i've just been having like a lot of anxiety and stuff mm -hmm. i guess it's just because of all the pressure of things changing and everything right and here lately my ears have been ringing like constantly for no reason and then when you said that i kind of made the connection like with my stepmom that had passed away recently and I have been just I feel like my grandpa is around like strongly because mm. he had passed away when I was younger and I I guess I just feel like he, they're there trying to help me and everything but well I agree with you and you're you're new to like our community and I'm so happy that you're here like what perfect timing as you're opening and having this awakening of like yeah you have this gift um ooh, it's like a flash they just gave me like from one way of being into this brand new way of being and i feel like it it does have some anxiety in it because it's almost like well what do i do with myself how do i how do i how do i handle all of this yeah that, yeah so the ringing and and I want to just kind of go a little bit slow because bringing in the ears, anxiety, all of those things tend to happen when we are not in our full alignment. And what does that mean? So, you know, my people here that have read my goddess, you let me know if you're a goddess, you watch a uh, reader. Um, they know what I'm talking about when your soul self, when we're not in alignment with our soul truth, then what we're doing is we're constantly picking up energy. We're, we're like an open door for all types of energy to come in low vibe medium vibe high vibe and so it confuses yeah. us and we don't know what to do with ourselves at any given moment so it's really about claiming your space and deciding that you're going to be in your own energy um, a salt bath is really important for energy sensitive people because it helps to clear our aura take the energy off and helps us to get into alignment with our soul self. The other high vibrational thing to do when we have ringing in the ears is really pay attention to the processed foods and sugars that we're eating because it gets really intense the more we're in that kind of vibe of eating a lot of sugar. So definitely stay, yeah. stay away from um, that type of food you'll notice that will start to clear up and feel better. And that also will work with the anxiety, Shelby. Because when, okay. we're, when we're eating a high vibe diet, meaning, you know, mostly vegetables, you know, lean proteins, some grains, what we're going to feel is our brain's going to feel better. We're going to be able to process. And even too much caffeine can really jam us up. 
energy sensitive people can't really handle um, foods that haven't been processed lovingly or have a lot of chemicals. So if you're going to drink coffee, anyone out there listening, not just to Shelby, if you're going to drink coffee, buy an organic coffee, buy one that's not not been treated with a bunch of chemicals, do it in like a French press, use a glass one. Um, don't put it through plastic. You'll notice that you'll feel so much better. Okay. Those are good tips, right? Yeah, thank you. Your gut feels like it just needs a little bit of um, realigning. That's what it feels like. Okay. Have you ever done like bone broth? No. <laughs> I don't ever like recommend too much bone broth, but like uh, a week with like some bone broth and being really gentle and just having more like a smoothie, a bone broth, and then some warming teas. And then a, like one meal, like one nice um, gentle meal will really start to get that gut to work in sync with your, your own body, with your nervous system. And yeah, here lately we've been doing smoothies and stuff. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, stay away from the sugars though, okay? Yeah. Good, good. I hope this helps you and supports you. Yes, I was wondering, like, another thing, like, is there anybody coming through for you, for me? Like, so just my give grandpa me, or anybody? Yeah, just give me one first name, Shelby. Paul. Thank you. And that's your granddad? Yes, it's my grandfather. Okay. Do you, did you call him granddad? Cause it's what came through. I don't know where the granddad came through. I used to call him Papa. <laughs> okay. Yep. I'm the granddad. I just feel like uh, really proud and he's tall and he's lean um, and he's just making me look up to him. So I'm all five too. So he's like pretty tall. Do you understand that? Um, I was really young. So, I mean, I don't really remember how tall he was or anything but it could, it I'm pretty be, short myself so it could be why he's showing it that way too like you being small so I'm like looking up and having that feeling of almost like all like you know everything like kind of like I'm gonna listen to what you have to say yeah yeah I was totally a papa's girl yeah I feel like that and he's all around the heart too so I don't know if he had congestive heart failure but it feels like that to me it feels like um a little bit of hard to breathe, hard to move around. I just feel like I almost have like this diabetic feeling around him as well. So, uh, you know, just he not... has definitely had open heart surgery before. Okay. And he had um, gangrene. He mm. had to have some amputations. Wow, that's huge. So yeah, I feel like that probably yeah. was was along with the diabetes. Maybe it wasn't diagnosed, or maybe it was, and he didn't really care for himself. But I love that he's coming to you, especially now when we're talking about spiritual awakening and getting in alignment with your truth and your energy um, and clearing up some stuff. We know now why it's so, so important, right? Yeah. He has just been heavy on my mind and on my heart lately. And I just can't stop thinking about him. <laughs> well, then maybe you want to do some automatic writing and have him come through and, and just talk with you because he's definitely right with you. Okay. Because right. thank you, was, Lovey. Yeah. Thank you. Have a great night. You too. Bye. Bye. And it looks like I have another person on there too. It's so weird. Um, I don't know how this happened, but hi, can you hear me? This is Jeannie. Um, I don't think that's working. So I'm going to return that one to the queue and take the next call. Hi, this Hello? is Jeannie. Hi, this is Jeannie. Who am I speaking with? Hi, this is Marie. Hi, Marie. Where are you calling from? I am from Wisconsin. Wow. How are you, love? <laughs> I am good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. How can I help you tonight? Um, so I was wondering if... Um, my friend is coming through. For sure. Just I, give me a um, name. Cassie. I'm so sorry. Say that one more time. Cassie. Can't hear. Put any other thing in. Hold on. 
Okay. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm hard of hearing. So now you can say it one more time. That's for okay. Cassie. Ka Jassy. Nope. Cassie. K A S S I E. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Hence the reason I don't bring names through when I when I'm uh, working because my hard of hearing just you know hearing loss just affects, <laughs> affects me that way. No, it's okay. Okay. So she's showing me, um, she comes through right away for you, like immediately, like right by your side. She's showing me her mm -hmm. hair. She's like showing me her hair. She's doing all this style stuff, just so you know. Um, okay. Do you understand that? I feel like she's super fun. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and she's a little sassy, a little sarcastic too. So I feel like she's like, now she's like flipping the hair and in, I feel like um, she would have really loved selfies and doing like TikTok videos. I feel like it would have been like right up her alley. Do yeah. You, do you understand all that? I do. Uh, she's talking about a sickness as well. Okay. I don't, I don't know if this was her sickness or if it was more like um, a depression that she hid, like a feeling inside, but a sickness she's referring to it. Do you understand that? I do. Okay. But I do feel like so vibrant now, so healed and so ready to do all the things that she couldn't do here. I feel like there was some limitations for her here. And I don't know if there were physical limitations or if there was just mental limitations, but it feels very physical. Okay. It feels very physical for me. Like I can't do things. Do you understand? Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, I do. <laughs> she's very and she's very chatty she's just chatty 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 <laughs> yeah that's her yeah so she's and she's all smiles and I just feel like she's so honored that you're remembering and thinking of her I feel like you guys were besties and I feel like she really admires you I feel like you've always had a really good head on your shoulder and always have offered really great advice She's just bragging about you right now. She's going on and on and on. She's putting you, she's putting you kind of on a pedestal. I do feel like you probably tried to save her at many times, support her, um, help her. Yeah. I feel like these are big words she's using. <laughs> yeah. So there's um, a, a full gratitude for everything that you are and everything that you, that you did. Ah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you so much for, for calling in and sharing this with us. Thanks. All right. Have a good night. You too, sweetheart. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. That was really beautiful. Hello. Uh, hi, this is Jeannie. Who am I speaking with? Hi, Jeannie. It's Ty my name is Tyra. Tyra? Yes. How are you? I'm well, how are you? I'm good. Where are you calling from, love? New York. Great. How can I help you? Um, I'm calling to see if I have any loved ones, whether it's friends, family, just anyone coming through. So, so how you know I lost go ahead. Um I lost two um grandparents, I've lost a friend, I've lost family members within the past two years. And um I just want to know if someone's there. So if you would do me a favor and just give me one name, um, just because we like to keep these small and, and right to the point, then I can bring that person okay. through for you. Uh, Teresa, Teresa or Carl? Just one person. That'd be really great for me. Okay, Teresa. So Teresa is um, a family member for you? Yeah, she's my grandma. She was my step grandma, but I really look at her as my grandma. Yeah, because she steps forward right away. She has an, another big personality um, in line for this evening, which I really love. She shows up and she really does claim you as her own. It doesn't matter about blood for her. It matters more about family. Family is what you make and family is how you show up and family is um, deserving of your time and energy is what she's making me feel. Mm -hmm. Do you understand all that? Yeah, I'm understanding. Okay. She's very um, family oriented. She was really what? Family oriented. Yeah, I feel like that's why she's coming through and how she was dating it was really beautiful. She's bringing through the color red for me. I don't know if that was her like favorite color, but she's showing me red. It's like a reddish orange. Um, 
and she's just bringing that around. I don't know if that's how she decorated, but she's just bringing that around. And I don't know why that's important for me to tell you, but that's what red she's doing. Yeah. I'm standing in front of a red candle. I don't. Okay. So what happened was, as I was kind of looking to the distance, I saw this like red glow and okay. yeah. So that's what she was telling me to say. And I'm like, all right, I'll say it, but it wasn't necessarily a candle, but she was just telling me the color red. Um, let her know. She, <laughs> I'm not, no, let her know, but I'm not, come on, grandma. I'm not picking up on that red, man. Mm -hmm. You're not picking up on that red or you are? 20, 20 years with her in my life and, you know, we shared so much and I'm not picking up on that red. Okay. Well, maybe it is the candle. I don't know. Maybe it's the flame. I don't know. That's all right. That's all right. We'll hold it there. Um, so... I f obviously, I feel like you do have a lot of people on the other side. I'm having a lot of chest pain as, as I'm talking to you. Like, a, like my, my chest is really uncomfortable. Um, and I don't know if mm -hmm. this is you or someone on the other side, but um, what it feels like is almost like palpitations, like uh, angina or something like that. Like, and I've never had that before in my life, but that's what it feels like has like a little burn to it as well. Is this you or is this one of your loved ones? My grandpa passed away. So they passed away 42 days apart from each other. He passed away first on March 1st and he died from what we think was a heart attack. Yeah. My grandma I, is dead. Yes. Because that's what I feel like. Like Maybe I don't know that's what it is and I'm living with it. And then all of a sudden I feel like it got worse and worse over time. So maybe he thought it was like heartburn and then it just kind mm -hmm. of, you know, came up into be a little bit more. He's also talking about the big shoes, the big shoes. Do you understand the big shoes? The big shoes. Mm -hmm. The big shoes, no. Like, I don't know if he's referring to like big shoes to fill, big shoes, but he's talking about big shoes. And big um, shoes. yeah, like big shoes to fill, like there's a lot to do to um, like, as if you feel like there's a lot of expectation over, over you and you have to do a lot oh, to, to yeah. fill that. Okay. So he's removing yeah. that. He's removing that. He's like, no, like your path is really unique and, and independent from anybody else's. He's like, stay really true to who you are, true to your voice, true to your, your, your goals. Like they don't have to be in alignment with what you're thinking they do. Cause I feel like there's a little mix up with that. Does that make sense? Yeah. And you're definitely have an energy sensitive soul. Like I feel like you want to please people and you want to do the right things. Yeah, pretty much. I, yeah, I really told my energy is very sensitive mm -hmm. around certain people who pick up on stuff like that. Yeah. So be really in your energy and do some of these tips that we're talking about tonight, like the salt bath and beginning to claim right. your energy for yourself. Even your diet, right. I feel like you would benefit from um, calming down your central nervous system because it feels like really staticky for me. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. So that happens, you know, trauma, different life events and people that are meant to be healers, which you are different. There are different forms of healers and the people that create art, they're considered healers, people that write songs. Um, you have this quality of a creative like big creative. And so I just feel like you're a little messy right now. So I'd love for you to, to kind of spend some time looking up how to get yourself in alignment and go to those things that really feel good, like some mindful techniques, some yoga, and then start pouring out your creativity. You're, like, I feel like you can't create enough. Do you, yeah, under yeah. Do you understand that? Yeah, it's just the outpour of just stuff in the tide. Yeah. Um, yes. That's why yeah. he's moving the shoes away. That's why he's moving his hands now. He's like, yes, yes, yes. And that's what they're all like being like cheerleaders now. They're like, tell her more, tell her more. Yes, this is so exciting. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know why they keep showing me like this poetic writing for you, but it feels like song. Let them know I miss oh. them, please. Oh, oh they gosh. are with you. They are with you, lovey. Yes. <laughs> Well, I, I do hope this uh, serves you and brings you joy and you get creating yeah. and, and share with us what you're doing because this is a great community. People love to see each other grow and support. Uh, 
Thank you so much, Jeannie. You're most welcome. Thanks so much for calling in. All right. Have a great night. You as well. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi, this is Hello. Jeannie. Hi. Who's this? Hi. Samantha. Hi, Samantha. Where are you calling from? Connecticut. Nice. How are you doing tonight, lovey? I'm doing great, thank you. Good. How can I help you? I was just um, calling to, um, uh, one, tell you how much I love your card readings and um, that I gain a lot of um, perspective, not just from my cards, but from everybody's. And I just wanted to say thank you. I know who you are and I love you. <laughs> I'm so glad that you called in. <laughs> I, I was like, she's disguising her voice. I know who this is. <laughs> this is so no, much fun. I, I just feel like um, I, I've been put in the right place at the right time. And, um, and I'm truly grateful. Um, and, um, and I know that I've got a lot of, uh, um, people looking out for me and making mm -hmm. sure that I'm healthy and making um, changes in my home and clearing out and clutter and stuff. And I, um, it's lifting a huge weight, but um, the friendships and family that are coming through is amazing. The readings like oh. tonight, like I, I know you're what you're mean, like with the with the angel card readings. I love that too. Like watching what somebody gets and then knowing it's for this person or that person. Um, but tonight too, like hearing from our departed loved ones, hearing from heaven, that does something to us as well, right? Like even though it's not, Amen. So, yeah, not necessarily, you know, and you're so kind and generous not to say like you want to hear from your parents. And you're so cute because they're they're like, of course she wants to hear from us. And of course we're here. And um and, and they're doing this really cute thing, your mom and dad, where they're like arm in arm, like they're locked elbow to elbow. Um, just like I don't know, it's adorable. I don't know if that's how they walk together, or if that's how your dad helped your mom around. Um, but they're doing that. They're like locking arms and they're walking together. Again, I feel like it's another way that they show how close they were and how close they still are yeah they were extremely close they met when they were 14 and 18 and their birthdays are um one day apart mm. and so. um and and it's funny because in my house um especially with daddy i know when he's trying to catch my first of all i get my female and male cardinal outside my window every morning when I'm taking my medicine and I know it's them but then 